Hey y'all, I'm Amy, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective messages, okay? Like, 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 and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you so very much to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay? It is always and forever going to be loved and appreciated, my loves, okay? God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascendant Masters, all beings of the highest, purest white light with the best interest of me and the collective at heart, you are always and forever welcome into my rings, okay? Please, please, please give my wonderful, fabulous, amazing Piscean Seer family the best and most accurate information for them at this time out since i start talking you think it's time to go in there and be bad okay so hey y'all okay this is a ocean reading okay i didn't put all the gloss on i gotta hit this bell anyway <laughs> so they want me to use the bell because i don't know something about this energy is kind of heavy okay mm. I almost forgot that I got to keep talking, okay? So, here we go. Okay, so... Uh, I got to get this overall energy first. <laughs> I got some notes okay but i started like downloading all of this information okay <laughs> before because i only have written down like three things for this okay but she just started talking okay like from the minute i woke up they was talking to me <laughs> somebody even done some shit they supposed to be doing okay we got the sword of light okay it says divine protection cords cut breakthrough energy okay so somebody could have um I don't know, try to attack or something like this, but you're, you have this great divine protection, okay? Um, you have cut the cords with all the proper people, and you break through any and all energy that people try to send your way, okay? Uh, we got Akashic Records right here, clearing old stories, releasing past lives and freedom, okay? You cleared your old stories, you released all the happenings of past lives, and you are free at this time, so I don't know why anybody would be wasting their time trying to attack you still okay especially with this my gosh with this energy the way that it is <laughs> it makes no sense okay i don't know what's wrong with these people <laughs> so it says when this card comes to you know that it is confirmation that you are walking the path of light and responding to pre-incarnation soul contracts to make a difference on the planet it's also a sign that you have the opportunity to sever connections to fears and limitations. Energetic cords bind us to situations, loved ones, and even the past. But you are in transition now and detaching from unnecessary connections, dramas, and fears, okay? It says, know that there will be a great severing at this time and you might feel isolated for a moment as you will be reconfiguring your circle, okay? Okay. To trust, I bet you will be reconfiguring your circle of trust and moving into a life that is in greater alignment with your highest good. Know that the cords that bind you to loved ones and soul family will remain intact. It's only the lower vibrational connections that are being severed. Okay, it says expect breakthroughs and doors of opportunity opening for you. If you feel strongly connected to Archangel Michael, know that his energy is with you now. Okay, so we got rescuer right here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Archangel Michael is the rescuer, rescuer of you. He is going to rescue you every single time. He's stopping people. He's giving like, <laughs> what is it? Uh... Oh my gosh, I can't think of it, you know, in football where they do this, okay, the stiff arm or whatever. Um, this is what he's doing, okay, because he is a lover of you. You are someone who speaks the truth and who does very positive things in this world, okay? What else? What's the rest of this overall energy before I get into these notes, okay? Trickster. <laughs> perfect okay trickster okay so there's a trickster out here trying to play games with the child eternal okay um the shadow attribute says manipulating others through duplicity and that light attribute says transcending convention 
uh, stuffiness and predictable behavior. Okay. So I feel like you're able to like predict what people are about to do. Okay. So you're, cause you're a fucking pioneer. Okay. You are so connected and tapped in. It's not even funny. So look, um, the notes that I already had was infinity. Okay. You are like this walking infinite symbol of the divine. You are a golden reflection of divine energy. Okay. Look at infinity under that. I cannot make it up. Okay. So I feel like something could be going on with your home. People could be trying to attack your house or trying to come up against your comfortable living stability in some sort of way. Okay. Um, which makes sense because I'm going to tell you a story about this dude that came over yesterday, okay, and what this nigga did, okay? <laughs> so um, next I wrote an uh, army mom, okay? You could be an army mom. You could have a child in the army or you could be at war with your own mother, okay, and not even know it or you could know it, but, you know, people still act like everything's a secret, okay? N next I wrote, I wrote white dog because I feel like you're very pure in energy and you're very loyal to the divine. So every time people attack you, that shit goes right back, okay? Um, so, uh, my cousin's cousin came over yesterday. Okay. Um, to pick her up. She like left for, I don't know how long, but she packed it back. Like she was going to leave for a while. Like she won an all expenses pay vacation or something. And so, um, he was around here in here, you know, talking and shit. You know, I was uploading videos on my YouTube and he was like, Oh, he was like, what you do as if he didn't know already. Okay. <laughs> And I was like, I'm a reader, you know, so then he went in the room and talked to her for a little bit. And then this nigga comes back out and starts walking towards my altar. And I was laying right here on the couch. I said, don't touch my altar. And then he was like, ain't nobody going to finna touch your altar. And he started walking away from it. I said, matter of fact, you can touch it if you want to. <laughs> right. So then the nigga turns back around and walks towards my altar, which had an apple on it. You feel me? <laughs> um, he walks back which will be significant in a second. Okay. He walks back to my altar and the nigga goes, Shoo, achoo. I said, when I say all my ancestors and everybody I could hear was like, Oh, totally, totally felt disrespected. Okay. Like everything in me was like, oh, okay. But I didn't like react in that way. You know, I said, nigga, don't sneeze on my fucking altar. But I said, bless you first, because I was talking like last week about how when people sneeze, you say, bless you because demons come out when they sneeze. You feel me? So this nigga starts talking about um, how his girl is a white witch. OK, but then goes on to explain all of this dark witch shit that she got going on. I said she is not a white witch. <laughs> she a dark witch. What are you talking about? So you could be dealing with some sort of dark witch, some sort of coven that's hidden in plain sight, but not that fucking hidden. OK, um, so when I woke up, I heard loud and clear. You need to listen to us so they could be trying to like. Uh, I don't know, inject messages into your shit. Like if you're a reader or whatever, they're trying to like project what they really want you to say, like in your, on your platform or whatever, in, right into you. Like these people think they're much more powerful than they are, but they're not. You're pure, you're loyal, you're infinite. And anybody that you go to war with gets fucked up. Okay. My guide said, okay. Ocean said, uh, when covens attack you, we destroy those covens from the inside out. OK, so I wrote uh, I came over here because the downloads was coming after I heard you need to listen to us. I heard coven activities and then I start hearing it's all about me, 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 me. Forget about you, 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 you. So what you going to do, 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 do. OK, so I feel like people are very selfish, you know, very self-centered. They have a problem with things being about you. OK, then I started hearing music. Teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart girl I'm so lost okay so this coven is lost as fuck they don't even they're not even tapped into their real power they don't know who they are they are they are fucking baby baby ass witches okay little sorry trickster demonic energies that don't have no real power especially not over here so um, then I started um, hearing my oh my okay because the alarm on my phone went off and that was the song that played you know uh 
Uh, he say he likes a good time. My, oh my. He comes alive at midnight every night. My mama doesn't trust him. Okay. And my, oh my. He's only here for one thing, but so am I. Okay. And then I, I wrote a magic dependent relationship. Okay. So, cause I said this nigga started talking about how his girl is a white witch and he started talking about how he don't eat her food and how he don't trust her. And I said, well, if you don't trust her, then you need to stop fucking with her period. Okay. That's simple. Like, why would you stand here and tell me you with somebody, but you don't trust them? Okay. Break up with them. Then if you can't trust them, that's your body telling you, you can't trust them and how he don't eat her food. It will do do what, right? So, but he's like, Oh, I got business in that I'm invested already. Okay. So like I said, they said a magic dependent relationship. Okay. Cause he was also talking about how she did a prosperity spell during the full moon and that shit actually worked. Okay. Look, and then I, yesterday after they left, I heard black widow interrogation techniques. Okay. Which I wrote in my book to do for a reading for somebody, for one of the deities, you know, but when the black widow interrogates, okay. Okay, if you watch, if you're into the Marvel Universe, when the Black Widow interrogates, I see 1101, she uses her intuition and things to figure out what's lies and what's not. And the people always think they're interrogating her. OK, they always think they're interrogating her or they're getting information out of them. And she figures out exactly what they own, exactly what they want and exactly how they plan to attack by getting interrogated by them. Okay. So this is the way that, that my energy works and your energy could work a lot like this too. Okay. So people could just be talking. Okay. Just talking, not even noticing they're giving it up. Cause you know, like somebody always ends up calling the black widow while she's in the middle of doing that. Okay. And she'd be like, dang, they were giving it up. They were telling me everything, you know, and they, the, the people look confused. Like what? We didn't tell you nothing. I was interrogating you. No, you need to listen to the people that are around you. Okay. And be careful who comes in your house and who comes around your altar. Spirit was like, sage that area and do a return to sender, which I know never do return to senders. I tell y'all all the time to pray for the best for those people. Spirit said, send that shit back. And they made me throw away the alt the apple on my altar because I came over here and I pulled a few of the spiritual warfare deck cards. And the first thing that came out was food magic, you know? So somebody could like cook your food and then be like, achoo, achoo on your food. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look, so um, they had me throw the apple away because what he did was food magic. He did some sort of, he put some nasty energy on the apple to sour the entire altar, okay? All I did was sage that shit, said, okay, Archangel Michael, I'll, I'll do return to sender, return that right back to him, okay? <laughs> and so that's going to go back to him and his little coven and finna fuck they whole shit up from the inside out. The song said cupcake, no feeling. I ain't got time because I got a lot of women, okay? Whatever these people do, they do at night, okay? Something very significant about midnight for them, okay? And they're, like, really intertwined in your family. And also my cousin's cousin, okay? Like, when I first met this nigga, everybody kept being like, oh, cousin Anthony, cousin Anthony, cousin Anthony. I'm already, like, 22, 23. I don't know this nigga, <laughs> okay? Why all y'all know this nigga? But I don't know this nigga, okay? <laughs> so, no, I don't trust nobody, nigga, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Especially if spirit, like, uh-uh, <gasps> hell no, no. Mm -mm, I don't give a fuck. The gloves is off. I'm not fucking protecting nobody but myself. And if bitches want to, you know, come in my in my house and fucking throw magic at me and act like I'm so stupid and naive, I don't know what the fuck some dark magic look like. They got me fucked up. And I feel like people could be playing in your life in this very same way. Because it's very significant, okay? I bring to you things that are, that do resonate with me, but are also a possibility of what's going on in your life, okay? And uh, my guys is not happy about that shit, okay? They pissed off about it, <laughs> okay? What is um, the rest? What, you, what else? Okay, we got coins, okay? So I feel like people feel like you're too abundant at this time, okay? Like you've ended the, the broke cycle that they're still stuck in. And when I say broke, I mean spiritually broke. I feel like they don't possess the golden energies that you possess, okay? And they don't know how to come 
excuse me, out of their cycle, okay? Like I said, teach me how to love. Show me the way to surrender my heart. Okay, we got seedlings because I feel like whatever you're doing or, you know, in life, period, be it just you working on your own energies or you trying to build, you know, a career or a spiritual practice like me, the um, it's really growing, okay? It's really doing very well. And this is the number 29, which gives me that 11 energy, the energy of your intuition. And I said 1101 earlier, I feel like your intuition is very strong and you get a lot of downloads directly from God, okay? From the divine, from the highest, purest energies of the divine, so, of course, they're going to protect whatever you're growing and protect your spiritual wealth. The song said, I've been through hell, but you can't tell the way I glow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else? <laughs> we got butterflies. Okay. So, you've gone through this, like, amazing transformation. Like, your your like staring down like these huge changes that are coming into your life. This is the worst time for anyone to ever attack you ever. You are so heavily protected right now that anyone who tries to come up against you is being destroyed. Okay. All these secrets coming out, people going to jail, people literally dying. Okay. Phoenix. <laughs> They burnt you down before. Now they shit is getting completely burnt down and dismantled. And I don't know why they haven't got the fucking memo yet. It's infinite. You are infinite. Your energy is infinite. There is no shutting down. The song said, look, I dare a fuck nigga try some. Okay. Glocks and choppers. That's the outcome. Look. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> okay. And then we got the teacher, okay? This is what I'm saying. Look, and then we got upside down under that, okay? And didn't I say you break through any energies, any spells, anything that anyone is trying to do, you are immediately up on game because you are extremely heavily protected from any and all enemies who trying to come up and put out your fire, okay? These empty ass vessels, what? Like, I am insulted. <laughs> I'm not even mad. I'm just like, I am appalled. Okay. What's the uh, coins? Okay. We got water. I feel like this is giving me the energy of the flow, you know, like you're really in flow with money at this time. And also you could be someone who takes spiritual baths, you know, who keeps your energy very clean. Um, it says, Cleansing and protection. It's also an energetic sponge, which which can be charged with specific energy. The life bringer. You might like um, charge your water with love light energy. I definitely do that. You know, talk to your water. You know, be like, I love you, water. You're so amazing. Thank you. Thank you for this healing and replenishment you're about to bring in my life. You also could be drinking a lot of water, and this is why you're also your energy is amped up. But I said inflow with money, so I feel like like water. Nobody can stop your flow. Nobody can stop whatever spirit is dropping into your life, you know, because these coins are raining down from the sky seemingly out of nowhere. OK, this is how you are pulling things into your reality. OK, and they want to come around and try to do the crime. <laughs> they want to come around and try to steal. They always steal it. That's what I'm hearing. OK, it says committing unwarranted acts of violence in the physical and spiritual toward others using extreme measures to fulfill an agenda. That was some extremely bold shit. Okay. The song said, I dare a fuck nigga try something like, don't you know my guys? Okay. My Orisha and, and angel, they waiting. They are prepared at armed and at the ready waiting for a bitch to try something. So to walk into my house and sneeze on my fucking altar and try to leave some negative energy there, that's a death sentence, bro. Look, we got sacrifice. <laughs> that's a sacrifice. You just sacrificed yourself for nothing, okay? It says having blood on their hands through a lust for greed and power, willing to do whatever to gain something they want or need, okay? Clearly. Look, food magic. <laughs> okay? 
<laughs> it says using food to implement spell work onto others, placing spells and curses onto food and drink items before passing them to their victims. I, when I say this nigga said, I chew, I chew, everything was like, oh, like the appalled and disgusted and like feeling that I got like, what? Okay. Spirit could not believe the balls on this man. Okay. <laughs> What's butterflies? Jeez Louise. Okay. The window. I feel like because you're going through all of these transformations and because you're so highly protected, you know, like you have all these different gateways and portals and passageways that you could go through, you know, and I feel like before these people had the very same types of thing access to you, you know, like they had different gateways and portals and passageways that they can get at you, that they can trick you, but they can't trick you. So desperate times leads to desperate measures, right? It says leads the way to your soul, thoughts, intentions, etc. must be protected from intruders. And that's exactly what happened. Your protection amped up in a major way. The backfires is nasty. Okay. We got sound frequencies, okay? These people could be trying to, like, send you music messages and shit like that, okay? Trying to have the power and influence over the mind, which is why I'm wearing this um, amethyst. And also, I'm wearing all this orange because they're also attacking your sacral chakra. And I never noticed how many orange things was in my house until I woke up and started seeing all this fucking orange, okay? What's Phoenix? Intuition, Okay. Intuition is popping so hard. These people are chanters, okay? These people use a lot of word magic, okay? It says the power of obtaining direct knowledge or cognition without tangible proof or rational thought. Trust this inner knowing, okay? My everything, my intuition was hollering, screaming yesterday. Cleanse, <laughs> clean, clear, okay? I cleaned the energy, cleared it, okay? Used my sound vibrations to hurry up and trump I mean, like, yeah, trump that energy, stop that energy, get that energy out of here, okay? It says it has the power to heal, empower, kill, and destroy, used to speak over a life to influence it, you feel me? And then we got the forces of light, okay? Going over there to handle the, <laughs> the workers of the dark lord, come on, okay? Look, these people could be into drinking a lot of alcoholic, okay? I said into drinking a lot of alcoholic. Okay. So they're alcoholics. Okay. <laughs> we got, um, the news. Okay. I feel like, um, like it says scripted reports of events taking place that serve to push a specific agenda, being fed lies and half truths. Be careful not to be bamboozled. So I feel like this person, okay. <laughs> that had the balls to sneeze on my altar. Don't even understand what they just did to they self. Okay. He don't even understand what he what he just did to himself because I feel like he been getting fed lies and half truths and being bamboozled by a bitch. Okay, we got spades. Okay, uh, by a death and destruction bringer that comes in and lies about their true intentions. Okay, they thrive off illusions and fooling their victims. Okay. So whoever these people like this coven that's magically dependent on each other, they don't hold no ancient knowledge. Okay. They don't have nothing. No, they don't know what's going on at all. And you do, you have all the gifts, knowledge, and abilities to pass that got passed down from your ancestors. Okay. Either directly or intuitively, it's already in your DNA. You was born like this. We got detective. Okay. <laughs> Cause that's me for sure. You are a detective. There is no tricking you or stopping you from knowing anything, okay? You use your gifts of discernment and other gifts to solve anything that's unclear or a mystery to you. You tap right in and receive downloads. This is what the detective card says. Loyal. I got money on me and I'm loyal. I got money in my pocket. I'm loyal. Ooh. And you loyal as fuck. And this people is using, he said, pain goes away when I'm tipsy, okay? Pain goes away when you're with me, okay? So, like I said, these people alcoholics, okay? What's water? We got the 10 of starships, okay? Or the 10 of cups. <laughs> ancestor energy okay and then we got the king of batless okay or the king of swords so somebody could be um a gemini libra aquarius that didn't that did this crime okay uh what's the ten of cups and the king of batless 
We got the ace of bat lifts, okay? The ace of swords. Like this person think they can stand in the way of you being it, walking in your truth, okay? Like you could be stopped. Like you ain't personally protected by Archangel Michael and the Orisha. Please, what sacrifice? We got the Ten of Pentacles, okay? They think they got the power to sacrifice you. <laughs> hilarious okay please giggle giggle at that shit look at the nine of cups okay like these people are fucking selfish and they think that they got that that they got the power to take somebody else's wish fulfillment they don't do shit for themselves or the collective all they do is try to take what's the ten of pentacles and the nine of starships okay and that's why they under judgment what's window the three of wands in reverse, okay? Because they thought that this was going to get them some sort of end. That this was their way in. But it wasn't. This was their way out. What's music? Okay? The six of cups. <laughs> or the six of starships. Because y'all way, they way in is a thing of the past. I, I have now transformed, okay? You are now in a new an energy that you transformed into. There is no no entryway, no window, no passageway, no fucking portal, no way to access me. Find an entryway, a portal, a, a, a roadway, a pathway to your inner self, to your higher self, to your to your heart. Find that. What's the three of cloaks in reverse and the six of starships? Okay, the king of starships. Okay. Get a handle on, on your emotions, okay? We got, so, but I feel like you're showing up as the king of starships, okay? Also, you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? Or somebody else could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's involved, okay? And then we got the page of cloaks, okay? That immature ass fire sign energy, okay? That Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's like, this is, like, since they want to compare some shit, this is the comparison. You are emotionally mature balance connected to the divine and really standing on who you are and doing what you're supposed to be doing. And this person is immature and passionate about fucking everybody else's shit up and taking everybody's shit and then wondering why they ain't got shit or nothing going on. Why they always juggling. What's the intuition? Okay. The page of bat lifts. Okay. They're going to be sorry, okay, and the four of pentacles. I feel like your intuition told you to release these people a very, very long time ago. But they very immature when it comes to the way that they think. So they think they could just trick you. Or they could just, I don't know, come in and do these little stupid little voodoo tricks or these little sorry ass, weak ass, dark magics that, that have some sort of like it's going to have some sort of effect. I feel like, like I said, this person is a chanter. This person, <clears throat> excuse me, does a lot of chanting at night. OK, around midnight. When ain't nobody there, okay, with the hermit energy right here and the eight of starships or the eight of cups, because they should have walked away from you. <laughs> they should have left you alone. Somebody could be a Virgo too. Okay, we got the two of swords. These people are blind. They don't know what's going on or what kind of damage they doing to their to their own selves. They getting burnt down while you rising up. You getting mad. I'm getting rich. <laughs> you getting mad, bitch. I was born rich. Okay, what is this? The two of cups, okay? I feel like they're really, really emotionally imbalanced at this time, okay? And then with the seven of swords, they still on some very sneaky, very conniving, very underhanded type of energies. And this is not going to fly. Ocean is not with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> tell y'all right now these could be people that call on the or orisha and that was the wrong choice that they made okay with the five of pentacles you already came from out the cold and then we got the hangman and the eight of swords under this okay these people are stuck and trapped because you operate in the energies <laughs> you bring the above to the below 
Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Judgment day for your enemies, okay? This is what's going on right now for that spell work, okay? It's judgment day for that spell work. What's up, coins? These people could be very sex focused, okay? Very dri driven, okay? Your abundance is safe, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Like these people have been trying to do all of these low key underhanded ass crimes and they finna really go to real jail for that shit. What's seedlings, okay? Empath and shaman, okay? <laughs> under judgment for attacking you an empath and a shaman who is only of light who is innocent you don't even do nothing all you do is focus on building your connection with spirit attracting spiritual wealth and growing your things that you need to grow in this life and taking care of those people that you love what's butterflies okay spend time alone hashtag hermit this is what i'm saying I feel like you really um, have been drawn in, to, like keeping to yourself, okay? Look, psychic attacks, okay? This is what I said. Look, black sheep, okay? It says not only are you a miracle, but one is on its way to you, okay? This could be people in your family who really don't like you. <laughs> they really don't like you, okay? They've been treating you like shit for years. Doing all kind of scandalous, underhanded shit behind your backs. Putting all of these rumors out about you. And then every chance they get, go and do magic on you. What's Phoenix? <clears throat> Sage your space, okay? That's exactly what I did. It's time for you to shine. And ain't nobody that can stop you from doing that shit, okay? You was born to be a legend. Didn't I say that, okay? It says divine protection and intervention, okay? Angels are protecting you, okay? And... <laughs> You protected from them stupid ass dream messages that they trying to throw in there too. Thank you, Ocean. I could not have asked for a more accurate reading on that. <laughs> okay. What is the final thought on this? Okay, we got Guna Tantrika. So this gives me an energy of like you being really in alignment at this time, okay? <sighs> but let me see. I don't know. I just never know with them. So what is this? Okay, it's number four. So it says the divine mother manifests the cure for when we feel overwhelmed or confused or when we feel we're falling apart or locked into stagnation, okay? So these people could also be sending you this energy to make you feel confused or make you feel like you want to fall apart or make you feel very stagnant, make you want to procrastinate or slow down. Ain't no slowing down. All gas, no brakes is what I heard. It says she is the superior medicine. Even when we may not be sure what is needed to bring ourselves back into balance, she holds the answer. Tune into your heart and there you will find her sacred prescription. Trust your inner guiding sense of what to do or not do next. Trust that a better order is being established. Okay. So it's like people are attacking you, but they don't even know that there's a whole new order that has been established. Okay. And that if you're not, if you're not, it says, it says Guna Tantrika is Kali as the medicine mother. She generates and regulates the three inherent qualities within all phenomena, including our body, mind, and soul. So if you're not tapped into your body, mind, soul connection, if you're not in this alignment and you're attacking people, even if you are in alignment and you're attacking people, you're going to catch that karma. So. It says these three qualities are known as the three gunas, the sattva, the rahas, and the tamas. As sat, wait, as sattva, Kali, is the peaceful detachment and contentment in the moment. She is the fire of rahas, the energy for taking action and hustling for our sacred manifestation. Okay. So you're peaceful, detached, and content in your own energy, in yourself, in your divine purpose. But if it's a problem, you got that fire, that energy that says, let's take action. And you also got that passionate fire that tells you that, yeah, you can manifest. You can imagine anything into this world, but you got that hustle behind those manifestation energies. And that's why you get what you want. 
it says when our actions rest upon a pure hearted foundation, our activities can become enlightened, bringing spiritual benefit to all beings, even if we don't always recognize the positive and far reaching impact of our actions at the time. It says when we need to slow down to heal, ground ourselves and regroup, Kali is tamas, the heaviness that allows energy to settle. This is the temporary inertia that steals momentum and allows for deep restoration and renewal. So you always receive deep restoration and renewal, no matter where the attack comes from. I know how they love it when it's coming from more than one person. Because they're going to find the most creative and fucked up ways to, ha to hand these people their karma. It says the freedom to take rest helps us stay the course for however long is needed to manifest our destiny without becoming desperate, <laughs> despairing, or exhausted. <laughs> I could do this all day. It says in such rest, we reset accessing the courage to drop our attachment to external support systems and even our own plans. Okay. So as spirit told me to right now today, you need to stop all of this and throw it out the window and, and quit. That's what it would be. Cause that's what the divine God guided me to do. And that's the only person that's going to knock me out of doing what I'm supposed to do. And I feel like you hold this same spirit in alignment and very aware of what you should be doing and how you should be walking. I don't know why these tricksters keep trying to attack you, baby, or me, because <laughs> I didn't do nothing, okay? <laughs> it says, we then become increasingly able to allow, rather than trying to direct and control the manifestation of her divine plan through us as we call upon her Kali strengthens these qualities within listen to your heart for her guidance do you need to be peaceful to take action to let go and regroup your inner wisdom is her voice guiding you excess Thomas keeps us enslaved in a negative holding pattern then the guna or energy that can help actually hinders. We need Kali, the tantric priestess of the Gunas, to intervene for our cure. Thomas can manifest as depression and procrastination, the inability to rise and take steps forward, or as action taken without thought of how it may affect others. To overcome excessive Tamasic energy, Kali can stimulate us with divine fire, creating Rahas, a powerful urge to take action. She may evoke agitation within or around us that compels us to act. Okay? So it's like, I was just sitting here minding my business. I wasn't expecting none of that at all. Like, I did not expect, I like, I really didn't even, like, he wasn't even on my radar you know what I'm saying? As far as coven activities go, he put himself on the map when he came in here playing those games with my altar and playing around in my energy. Just don't come around me if you want to be sneaky because I can see through you. It says she is not asking us to become reactive, but to have the confidence and courage to engage with what is happening from a place of inner wisdom. Didn't I tell you I did not react? I said, bless you. Nigga, don't be sneezing on my altar. It was all a very calm interaction. It seemed like a very fun little thing, you know, from the outside looking in. If you would have been standing here looking at all of that. You would have never thought that all of that went on. And this is the kind of shit you need to be on the lookout for in your energy. It says Rahas provides us with the gift of accomplishment and a healthy exertion to discharge anxiety and stress and promote feelings of restfulness and a lightness of spirit. This is the piece of satisfaction and rest after achievement. The third and final guna of Sattva. Without Kali's wisdom and correction, Rahas can easily shift into overactivity that doesn't accomplish much and leaves us feeling drained rather than satisfied. So these people feel drained, dissatisfied. The song said, girl, I'm in love with you and obsessed with you. OK, we sink back into Thomas instead of rising to a satvatic. Wait, yeah. A sattvic state is what it says. Kali teaches us how to act without becoming caught up in the need to be busy for the sake of it. 
So I feel like every action that you take, everything that you do, you do that shit for a reason, unless you're just chilling, relaxing. And even that is a part of you just being, okay? It says, as we call upon her, she helps us to pour our energy into that which genuinely provides nourishment for the soul. Kali knows that excess sattvic energy leads to detachment to the point of being dismissive or indifferent in the face of suffering. Sattva needs to be balanced so that it, is, it inspires rather than extinguishes our desire to act in ways that help alleviate the suffering of others. Okay. And these people don't have this. Okay. They don't act in ways that help alleviate the suffering of others. They are always taking, like I said, all they love to see the suffering of others. And this is why they finna get that karma. Okay. It says, yet it can also provide us with the comfort of detachment so we can let go and strengthen ourselves in the pain we encounter in the world. Okay, it says if the pain, okay, so yet it also provides us with the comfort of detachment so we can let go and strengthen ourselves if the pain we encounter in the world feels overwhelming. Kali is the inner knowledge of when and how to disengage from the emotional energy of others without losing compassion or becoming dismissive. Guna Tantrika manifests her wisdom and healing through our spiritual instincts. Like I said, you are a di direct mirror to the divine, an infinite being. W spirit walking, okay? It says the body and mind know when there is a need for rest, for activity, for detachment, and for engagement. It takes strength of spirit not to override that inner knowing with social pressures or inhuman expectations for constant performance because that's what it is with them. They constantly putting on a performance. This is why their little tricks don't work because they're too busy using all their energy to trick themselves and those around them into believing that they are what they present. It says when Guna Tantrika arises in a reading, we are asked to trust in the shifting cycles and to give ourselves what we need for well-being. No being benefits when they are at odds with themselves. Come on. You have the inner power and capacity to be at peace within your own being now. OK, and that's why nobody could ever do nothing. The song saying, we just ordinary people. They just ordinary people. They didn't know who they was fucking with. They don't even know they ordinary people. They thought they, they was these big master magicians. And they could take anything out. We finna see some faces crack. Some jaws dropping on the floor, okay? Because they not finna even expect the way this karma finna backfire so hard. It's finna be so cute. <laughs> And you're not even going to see it or be caring about it, okay? And with that, I'm done. I hope you guys have a happy, fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day, okay? And I will see you later, my loves. Bye.